of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. That's right. Yo, yo, yo. That's right. <laughs> it's that's right. right. You. My <laughs> mic was on mute. Um, and you're listening to a new episode of the Exciting Hoodcast. With the crisp rack of the claw, I am John the Volan. With a quick pack and a spark of the bomb bowl, because I fucked up on you, I am the one, Mike TV. What up, people? Cobra Dad, back up in this bitch. You know what it is. You know what it be. You know what it does. It's that dumb fucking doo-doo fire. Dumb doo-doo fire, indeed. But you do still are in need of a Mezco Wolverine. Uh, the always. new one with the with the Sentinel base, which, look... This week, I'm going to tell you, we did not get a donation. So, oh, what a sad no Cobra. We're up to $98. We need just like 20 more dollars than we're there. Like, look, this dude, he's got like the worst shit. Like, he can't even get rid of the shit he tries to sell at La Polga. <laughs> nah, you want to know something? I got to be honest. I don't want to do the I same really bit over and over this, again. I really appreciate this shit and it's dope as fuck. You know, all the little love, the love and shit. But this shit is played out. I know, this, that's why this, I'm not doing the bit again. Yeah, this shit's played out. I, I don't want to beg. I'm not begging for shit. Well, it's not you. It's 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 us making fun yeah. of you. And then, you yeah. know, we have a, such a good time making well, fun of I, you I, and saying the wrongest shit, and then we thank you for it with a Mezgo Wolverine. Yeah. You know, you're basically a paid all whore. Years, all the year of abuse. <laughs> all the whole... Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. All the abuse I take, this is a little love back in return. Right. <laughs> you Look, I would go through that. Make fun of me and then buy me something. I'm cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I, I'm, a, I'm an easy paid whore, dude. I'm a, I'm a cheap date. All I want is you know a wrestling figure that I want. You know and just yeah. Just leave the little Caesars and the Fago on the dresser when you leave the room. <laughs> so recently I went to fucking New Orleans because the the fig wife had a fucking conference there. So she's basically like working and in, in the conference all day. You know while. I'm out fucking drinking huh. and doing all kinds of uh, illustrious things, you know. All kind of Nolans type shit. Yeah, so, you know, but like, I, I hit up local bars and shit, you know, where the servers go so I can hear all the horror stories. And, like, it turned out, like, some grandma just went into, like, this one uh, hotel where they have, like, a like a carousel bar that moves slowly. Thank God, because I went there, too, drunk as fuck, but it was good. And uh, <laughs> this grandma, dude, she's some old lady, I don't even know if she was a grandma, but... You know, she walked into some room, got in an elevator and walked up. There was an open room, went in there and fucking died. You know, I, and I don't know why. I know old people do that shit when they want to die. She came out for one last hoorah, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going to die anyways. Doc told me I'm going to die. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to enjoy myself and I'm yeah. going to drink until I feel like I'm ready to go to bed. I wonder if yeah. she called room and service. Go out you know? in peace. Oh, she called room service? I don't know. Maybe. I, I didn't get, He's like, everything. She's like, hey, yo, bitch, I'm going to die. I'm going to order bad fucking room She's service. like, I want a bacon, egg, and cheese. Give me a fucking king cake. Give me fucking elote. Dude, I'll What's tell you, elote? Like, this knowledge. Some, don't of the know what elote is. <laughs> some of the hotel food there is bomb as fuck. You wouldn't think, like, hotel food is, like, where you go. But, no, some of it is, man. Like, some of the fried well, green of tomatoes, there. the red beans and rice, like, that shit. Yeah. Like, I, I, dude, I ate too much bread pudding as a dessert. You know, after I'd eaten all the fucking gator fried or non-fried, bread whatever. Bread pudding? What the fuck is that? Bread pudding is, like, pudding... I With mean vanilla, bread, like yeah. cream. It's bread, but pudding. the bread's yeah. kind of soaked at, at the yeah, bottom, but the, crisp at the, the bread top. Like in a, in a, yeah, like it's in a heavy cream with vanilla, right? What? Like minus the V town. It's it's kind of like cinnamon and shit. So it's got some cinnamon shit on the top, dude. That shit was fucking good. I ate like mine and Amy serving, and I was not feeling it. I, I, dude, uh, I know uh, what pregnant bitches go through nowadays. Like, <laughs> you know, dude, I, I feel it, dude. I feel all their pain and what it's like to be a woman <laughs> <laughs> while being drunk as fuck because that's what you do, you know. Did you uh, eat crawfish out there too? Yeah, I did. There, there's right. some oh. some good ass crawfish, what, what, dude. What, what, I ate everything what? I could eat. There was one well, thing that Amy posted. I'm turtle serious. soup yeah, is an actual that, fucking serious. thing. I had no idea turtle soup was an actual thing. I thought Rocksteady and Bebop just said that in a cartoon. 
we'll make turtle soup of you, but you guys actually ate it. How does how was turtle soup? So that's what I thought too. When turtle soup, it was like a entree for like the steakhouse we went to, expensive ass or mid range steakhouse, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't bad, but the turtle soup, man, I was like, yeah, I gotta try it. I, I want to taste some turtle. I've never had turtle. I've had shark yeah. fin soup, but you know, whatever. So we get the turtle soup, and it's fucking basically minestrone. I'm like, dude, it's a red base soup. That fucking <laughs> takes all the flavor out of it. All you taste is red sauce. I don't like this. You know, she loved it. So there was it. no was chunks great. of meat in it? There was, but you can't taste the chunks of meat. All you can taste or, like, you can feel the texture. This ain't this ain't no Ninja Turtle shit. You know, yeah, that's that's so why I told chunk our server. The meat was turtle, right? The meat in it was turtle. Yeah. Yes. It was, but it wasn't like a giant chunk. It was like little niblets, you know. Ah, you know that like you just swallow whole. Like I swallowed a turtle yeah. whole. They only caught a little turtle from the swamp that morning. Yeah. <laughs> they only got a little one. A little bitty back bitty. creek yeah. going yonder. Like it could have been anything. I, I don't know. I couldn't taste it. So did a warthog guy chicken. bring it out to you? <laughs> no. Nah. So back to the out. crawfish, man. So that what is that? That's like that's like a big ass shrimp, right? Well, crawfish is crawdads. It's like mini lobster. So I, yeah, kinda. But so the what more do you do? You like. crack it open and eat the meat, or you can do that. Yeah. yeah, and people suck out the heads and stuff. I don't. I kind of dissect it like I'm in science class. Some I'm right. weird about that. They're like kind of you know they're like spiders of the sea or the creek. Yeah. So it tastes like a shrimp. Kinda like there's different flavors going through it. it. Yeah, yeah. It, it you usually cook it spicy. Yeah, and then like. Like, usually they do crawfish boil, so it's like the water, exactly. fucking Cajun seasoning, you get some, some okra, some, some other peppers and shit, and they put it in a big pot, and you didn't drink, eat it off a of fucking paper on a table, did you? They come out and they just dump the shit down That's in front of you. That's a boil. Look, yeah, but, so, they they even had, like, some fried crawfish, too, that they put, like, oh. as, like, a delicacy nice. on top of the fried green tomatoes, and boy, that shit was dope, dude. Like... I ain't never eaten no fried green tomatoes, you know. I, I just food, bro. I knew the movie, you know. I watched that with the fig wife. That's about it. But shit, <laughs> I uh, you know we didn't we didn't rent a car or nothing because we're staying right right around the French Quarter. And I was like, I gotta hit up some of these Targets and WalMarts out here because I know there's a couple. And I just picked one on the map and you know fuck it, Uber, take me there. This dude takes me to, uh, or it's this woman. She takes us to the east side of uh, New Orleans or whatever, and she's like, ain't nobody come over here. You know, except for the people who live here. And, you know, of course, <laughs> you can guess who lives there. And, but, you know, I'm like, fuck it. We're already here. And she's like, look, you're going to have a hard time finding Uber or back. I'm like, so you're going to wait for us? And she's like, fuck no, I ain't waiting here. <laughs> I'm like, look, I got to look. I ha I'm here at the store. I got to look. They dropped you off in the ward, bro. She's yeah, like, it's yeah. the ward, man. We fucking Night hour, dude. Dude, I, I went in. They were stacked with fucking wrestling figures, Star Wars figures, whatever Walmart has. They had everything. Because maybe those people can't afford it, or even like, you know, reseller collectors don't fucking do that out there. You know, they there ain't no. They, they no sell a fentanyl and crack, bro. That bitch, bro. They have La Polga, but it's, you know, it's all everyone making voodoo dolls and masks to sell yeah. to fucking tourists. Yeah, motherfuckers ain't reselling toys. No. Nah. They yeah. ain't got toys without uh, time, time for toys out there, man. Them motherfuckers. Are they don't even steal toys from Target, man. They steal toothpaste, socks, yeah, underwear, yeah. all that shit that's locked up, birth control pills. No, detergent yeah, is the <laughs> number one stolen thing in the world. Lunch Laundry. Meat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, but like you know, everyone was fucking like even coming out of Target, and I had to wait a while for Uber to show up, and they did eventually. But like, yeah, you know, I get out in the flag jacket with a fucking AK. Yo, you call Uber? Get in, get in, get in the Uber get now! In, get in now! <laughs> like hella puffing and shit. Like it's on Predator Two, that one fucking Jamaican dude. I hope no. you don't yeah. mind. I smoke a stogie. <laughs> get in the Uber now! Dude, but the, yeah, just random dudes come up to me, start talking about the car problem, shit like that. But never, yeah. not once do they ask me for money. I just go, oh, right. that sucks, bro, blah, blah, blah. I'm smoking, you know, actual menthol Newports and shit, you know, because they have them. So I'm going to smoke them. Not once yeah. did any of them ask me for one. Nothing. Right. Like, it's just, you know, everyone was cool as they, fuck. They wasn't, they, they, bro, they ain't asking the big ass white man for they no ain't. cigarette. No. Especially with, yeah, I they're looking at him like, hmm. <laughs> I got to tell you guys, 
Plus, all you listeners plus, out there. like, look, dude, their Walmart bags are the old school oh. chintzy little bags. They ain't like this <laughs> California thick ass bag that you gotta pay for. So I'm holding hella toys, and the bags are ripping. And these motherfuckers don't want to come up and talk to me because you know I'm the only white boy there. You know they're like they're like, what you got in there, boy? You got you some wrestlers? He finna get some toys off to the orphan kids at the park, and then he just drives right on by, looking at the toys with a smile. He's like, I'm about to go, I'm about to go down to the bahu court. I got two eddies in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. But nah, it was it was a good trip. Spent a little bit too much money because all that action figure buying was credit card buying. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's oh, APR oh, will get you. Yeah, but you know, I'll probably resell them. I'll hold on to those Eddie Guerrero Ultimates that I got for yeah. you know, at least a year, and they're gonna be a hundred bucks because all Eddie Guerreros are a hundred dollars every fucking yeah, time. Yeah, once they're not available anymore, yep. they're gonna it's gonna skyrocket. Yeah. yeah, and I still ain't seen those motherfuckers hit out here. I still have not yeah. found them. So yeah, and I, I mean, what did you get them for nineteen ninety nine? No, no, I got them from normal price. I think I don't know. Okay, because I seen that you see showed them. It said nineteen ninety nine. Oh, maybe I did that. Like I, I, dude, I just put in my credit card and I'm, I'm out. You know, <laughs> I look, just, uh, I'm trying to make this shit quick, credit. dude. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get an Uber. Oh man, fuck, dude, these people looking at me weird. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't want to have too many weird conversations. They thought man. she was the fucking candy man, big ass <laughs> ball white dude wearing like bro, a six foot jacket. plus white dude walking around, and I'm not saying like he ain't no like flimsy looking white dude. He's no, no, I, I walk with yeah. a purpose. Yeah, to find <laughs> toys. <laughs> no, this guy dude. is a thick motherfucker, you know. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure they were like, who in the fuck? No is shit, this? though. I did do the Candyman thing. I, I went, you know, like before I left, you know, I was already drinking throughout the day. And I did the Candyman, said it five times in the mirror. Then at the yeah. end of the night, we were walking back to the hotel. I had to stop and get some water because I didn't drink in hotel water. And uh, they had, you know, the novelty shit in there and stuff. And I seen, like, this bee in a fucking ashtray. I'm like, oh, dude, <laughs> Candyman's going to fucking. And this is deep in the fucking store. How does a bee get all the way in there? And I ain't seen it no motherfucking you, bee in all of New Orleans because it's hot as fuck and it's fucking humid He followed shit. you, bro. He followed you from New Orleans. You say that shit two more times. Me and Cobra ain't going to see you after this. This will be the last show of Hoodcast. And we'll be like. The screen will just go fuzzy. There'll be a guy say, "Be my victim," and then just go blank. It be like, "What the it's fuck?" Is he recording this shit? <laughs> well, after you hear the big live this? streaming and shit. <laughs> fuck, but yeah, no, good trip, man. Uh, you know, in like some Yo, of the places, if Candyman gets you. I remember one time we were talking, and the big wife asked you if you were going to give away a toy if you actually, if you unfortunately passed. Oh. I don't care. I'm and dead. And if Candy Man gets you, what's up, man? I, I get the necklace, right? Uh, we'll see. You know, I don't know. I'm dead, dude. I'm not gonna write out a will like now. Maybe when I I'm older. Let her know. Just let her know. Let her know. Like, oh, you just want the necklace, the high end figures, huh? Yeah, all your high end joints. <laughs> <laughs> She's not you're, gonna know what already, is what. Okay. She's not. You already <laughs> promised me the Punisher War Machine, so I know, I know. <laughs> I'm keeping my hands off it. Yeah. That one's coming. That and David from Lost Boys. Oh, he's got American Psycho now. He said all the hot toys. Yeah. <laughs> I, I see now why you guys are my friends because you think I'm gonna die early. <laughs> yeah, dude. I could though. And then everyone's... We're going to vicariously live through your high-end figures so you don't have to buy them no more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Shit. So that's what this campaign is for, and nobody gets their fucking money back. Like, get, <laughs> get Cobra get Cobra a high-end figure from Jonathan Fallon's collection because he's going to die yeah. soon. <laughs> that motherfucker said Candyman. I was keeping all those Predators, bro. I was like, whoa. The last time we... we you we want that big red one I was like, wow, this guy does have a... This guy's got a, a stack of NECA's literally from the top of his shelf all the way up to the ceiling of his butthole. Well, it's true, yeah. He, a lot stacks, of there. he stacks NECAs like he used to stack Funkos. Ah, uh, no, dude. I was never been that hard into Funkos. I, I did have, like, a small ha not ha not even half a wall, but, like, you know, maybe 20 to 30 Funkos, and then I got rid of them, and then I, I got some more. But Anyways, let's get into this fucking news. <laughs> let's do it. Dr. Killamar, the evil alien who wants to pollute the whole world. Triceratops with motorized walking action. Good news, everyone. The 
figures and battle gear, each sold separately. I always like after San Diego Comic Con, and you know, you already missed out on the pre orders or you did whatever, and you, you know, and now there's almost there's very little news and I'm like, thank fucking God, because <laughs> you know, it's just money, money, money. And that's, that's what action figure collecting is about, dude. It's just spending on this and that. And it's so commerce, much shit. bro. Yeah. yeah. And I, yeah. I, I like it when we have little news cause we got more to talk about than fucking news, you know, but yep. with that, there is some news. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, and we'll, we'll jump off with Mac Farley. God, right, motherfuckers! Dude. I sold out all my shit at Comic Con that I'm selling the booth, and I'm hitting you with the hot figures, the hot figs. Have you ever wanted the Red Robin Jokerize? No. Bada boom, yeah. motherfucker! There it is. Jokerize this shit. Jokerize that. Make a yeah. fucking McCla- McFarlane oh. store exclusive here and there. I think that uh, Robin, it's the Joker Eyes Red, Red Robin. Red Robin, yeah. Tar- Red Robin, yeah. Target it's exclusive. It's terrible. It's, it's absolutely wings. horrible. <laughs> but it's Joker Eyes. I mean, I get it. You could have, he could have did it, but why did he have to go so bright and all low? Oh my God, it's Look, so random. Like if Joker, it's like he, like, it's if, like he took the, he took his computer and and put the image of that and they just put Joker eyes and hit random. It's yeah, like, that's what he does. <laughs> Literally, it's probably what he does. It looks like a fucking creative character in a video game. Like, wouldn't right. you like if Joker did uh, happen to Jokerize everyone within the DCU or whatever? Joker would actually that. make them look a little cooler and eviler, and, you know, yeah. like not yeah. just repainted with neon shit. That's bad. But yeah, but just when you thought that, like you've seen it all with Joker Eyes Robin, he Joker Eyes fucking Superman sixty six. Oh fuck! Yeah. Oh, not to mention in New Orleans, I seen every Joker Eyes figure there. Gold label, all McFarlane gold labels. They had tons of them. I did not buy one. You should have took a picture, though. I should have, but I was trying yeah. to get the fuck out of there, <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. quick. <laughs> Try not to get shot. Why is my boy taking pictures around us? I didn't want to get shot while they were still in suit of It was It was scary, <laughs> man. Like, I thought they were going to do voodoo on me or something. I don't what, know you what the they do. Popo, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm buying all your action figures and you plan to, to resell them. Pads, man. <laughs> my pipe is needs a new screen. They're like this Calif because I'm wearing a San Francisco Niners hat. This motherfucker had to fly out to, to our ghetto to buy our toys to go sell them back in his fucking state. <laughs> <laughs> to more advantaged children. It's fucked up. But yeah, on with what you were saying, Mike, the uh new Batman 66 wave, which the, the, the reissue of Batman and Robin, which is cool because those figures were going for high dollar online. Now they yeah. ain't shit. So, right. But then there's also um, a, a Joker jester. Like he's got a jester's hat. Uh, a bat bot. Like he's like a bat robot suit. Yeah. Uh, Lord Death. And he's like, uh, he looks like he's wearing skeleton, skeleton. pajamas. And he's got like yeah. a little, little sword. You can use that for like some... Uh... That almost looks like the guys in the costumes from fucking uh, Karate, Karate Kid. Kid. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then uh, a Superman that people are saying, like, no, it's from Action Comics. And some people are saying, no, it's from, like, the first, you know, Superman that Reeves dude who played him. or whatever. Not Reeves. No, but, it's, uh, it's, it's fucking Ben Affleck skinny with rosy cheeks and lipstick. Well, I call him Super Twink. So in that movie yeah, about that, the, that, there it is, Super who, Twink. Like the serial of Superman, you know, the not the George Reeves. George Reeves. That's why yeah. I was correct. I was thinking Christopher Reeves. Was well, yeah, there was George Reeves, <laughs> and then after him, there was really nobody. Yeah, but George Reeves didn't look like a twink. He was a broad chested dude. dude. He, he was, was, yeah, he was barrel, dude. Yeah, he was a man was back then. Everyone yeah, had a deep voice. Back then, that motherfucker was an American, bro. You know, what I'm yeah, dude. But my thing was. Like, Superman wasn't even on the TV show Batman 66, but then I realized, I was like, oh, yeah, like, six years ago, they came out with the Batman 66 comic. Right, so I think these are from that, like, the Lord Death might be from that. And yeah, because I don't remember him on the show. Joker, I mean, like... The that sh- Jester Joker is kind of cool because eh, it's oddball. It's odd. I wouldn't pick it up, but it's kind of cool. It's not, it's a Jokerized Jester. I get what it is. It's cool, like, uh, it's kind of a cool premise, like, uh, that's the joke. 
<laughs> what was it? Surf Joker? They came with a surfboard and a Hawaiian well, shirt. Well, that happened in the in show. The 60s, 60s. Yeah. The yeah. Movie. Then it happened in the movie, right? Where they're like no, surfing with the bombs. Look at this shit, movie. dude. It's no. 2023. Well, and we're arguing Batman 66, the show, and the verse the comic. Man, right. we're fucking old, man. Yeah, but what like, fuck, wait, Bober? wasn't like it was a two part movie that was also on TV of Batman 66. And that's yeah. where he turns everyone to dust, you know. All the all the people or whatever, and he then hydrates them. I thought there yeah. is. I thought in that there is a bomb, and they surf it out, or they, or is that surf contest actually on a show episode? I thought it I was think in the, the movie. surf contest was on the show. show. Okay, because in the movie there was the you're scene with the about the, and the on, shark. In the movie, you're thinking about the shark and the motherfucker running down the fucking uh, Robin. The, the, the shark repellent. Yeah, yeah. Shark you're thinking, it, yeah. and you're thinking about him running down the dock with the bomb in yeah. the movie. Yes, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, that yeah. stupid bomb because it's you know Batman sixty six. Everything's yeah. Yeah. you know like that. But yeah, uh, also McFarlane. You know, we talked about him announcing his sports figures, but he actually showed off the N- the, the NHL figures. So a bunch of hockey shit that I don't know nothing about. And of course, they're like statuesque, like his old school figures. So hockey just isn't big in the U.S. That's why we don't really know about it. Like it's big in like the Midwest, but like in other states, too, like fucking Texas and California, there's no real. Right. Oh, they got the ducks anywhere near. Well, there's near sharks in Canada. the Bay area. I'm yeah, they got the ducks and the really sharks. Cool. But yeah. still, but like in Texas, there's no fucking ice out here. <laughs> well, I mean, they're only in a fucking rink. I'm sure yeah. there is somewhere out there because I have a friend who moved out there and he works at an ice rink. I'm pretty sure. I, I look, they got air conditioning is a commodity out there in fucking Texas. Oh, dude. See, yeah, we're working in these schools that don't even have airflow in it. You know, at a fucking school that's sealed up with no air and sixty fucking fat guys. <laughs> look, literally fat guys. <laughs> if it's a hundred percent humidity, does a gun still work? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you, I think you sweat enough for it to fucking get down in your gun and prevent the spark of the pen. I, like if you soak your gun underwater, does it still work? Like I don't think it goes off, right? Or and it doesn't travel well because it's Glock, going through yeah. a Glock will a Glock, a Glock will shoot in any. I seen I seen demonstrations of Glocks where a guy has four different buckets. One water uh, dips it in water, shoots it. Takes it from the water, dips one, it in one, sand. One is pee from Billy Bob over here. He pissed in a bucket. <laughs> he, now he's going to dump his Glock in there. Yeah, <laughs> well, they, he, he dips it in other elements like mud and shit, and they all it shoots. Hmm. This is not a this is not a gun podcast, right? It can be, you know. God damn it! God bless Texas. God bless automatic rifles and hee-haw-hoo. God damn! God bless God. Well, next. God, God bless God. Yes, sir. Well, God needs I've to be blessed because he one. he fucks everyone over constantly. He's just it's just a big fat fucking joke. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then he goes well, and then they, when they go when you go, hey, well, why why has God got me all fucking broken? I need people to donate, and he's like, they go, well, just God is just testing you, son. Yeah, he works in mysterious ways. Yeah. yeah. He's just telling you because most of these people, we got to spend all that money on kids' school clothes and shoes and shit right now. That's right, uh. shoes and shit. Next up, Hiya Toys. So they showed off <laughs> their uh, 118th scale, which is uh, roughly four inches. Their Star Trek from the 2009 uh, kind of remake movie. So oh, you, that's what I wanted. It was a Chris Pine Kirk guy. Yeah, it. Captain Kirk and uh, Doctor McCloud. Uh, what is it, Kumar? Uh, I didn't see Kumar. Kumar, no, it's the Asian, it's the Asian dude. Oh yeah, yeah. Harold. Harold, yeah. Sorry, but he's like, not the funny one. I, didn't, I don't remember. I didn't see that figure. They just had the the <laughs> the Doctor McCloud, which I'm pretty sure that actor died by like a, a car rolling backwards or something like that, and it, it ran. Yeah, over. his jeep. Yeah, his jeep stalled on a hill, and he went behind it to push it or something, and then it rolled over him. Don't try. To no, push what it happened was he went to down to go get his mail, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh. That's and right. He came down the driveway and crunched him, bro. Yeah. He got he crunched by his dog. own car, bro. Yeah, hey, he's in another cool movie, Green which Room. is a true story. I'm dead, not a doctor, Kirk. And and he gets he gets kidnapped 
and they shoot him at the end. It's a it's a movie about. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a true story. I read the yeah, book on that when I was so in the county jail. Yeah. And that, that's yeah, a real yeah. fucking story, bro. They actually... Speaker-ass brother. Yeah, they actually fucking uh, kidnapped that kid, and, and they ended up shooting him. And... Dude, that's the only time you got to read a book in jail? I, that's... I, dude, on some real <laughs> shit. <laughs> and that's the only time I ever read books. <laughs> I feel you, man. I, I ain't read a book in a while. <laughs> right. Wow. Why wouldn't I got TV, bro? I'm yeah. fucking read a book, bro. Dude, TV's based on books. I can watch that. It's like, like, it's like, I used to read a lot of Dean Koontz books. Uh, it's whoa, 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 like, whoa. We can't say that here. Oh, yeah, oh okay, okay. Yeah, no, nah, he's yeah. kind of like a Stephen King writer. Yeah. I know who he is. He did that movie with uh, Jeff Goldblum. Watchers. Watchers. What was the one with Jeff Goldblum and his daughter fucking connected with a, a Satanist? Who fired some shit? Uh, and he was I building. That one. I don't know, I'm trying to think what it, oh, I know he did it. I know they made Only a the movie. Strong. I, think, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Banana way. Banana way. Nana. That's it. That's definitely it. That's the Dean Koontz movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hideaway. That's the motherfucking movie. What's it called? Hideaway. Dean <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. Uh, next up. Uh, play toys. So they do kind of knock yeah, off one six scale. Uh, so they're doing a, a Street Fighter Chun Li. Now the only reason why I brought this up because anyone could like do this because like it's just a, a Fison body or a seamless body, if you will. Right. But the sculpt on this seamless body I've never seen before because they gave her those fucking muscle strong legs where she can snap your head like a melon if you were down there. You know, Oy. dude. It's fucking, whoa, dude. And, I, you know, I don't want to buy any seamless figures because I know, like, you know, the shoulders rot and shit like that. The joints rot. But, dude, her fucking legs. Holy fuck. Uh, so she comes with, like, her normal gear and tights that you can put on, you know, like uh, Street Fighter shit that, that Chun-Li wears. But she also comes with a swimsuit where she's pretty much naked. You know, and you can make her naked if you want to because it's a seamless body. And holy fuck those legs, dude. That's some shit. And the face sculpt's good, too, but I ain't looking there. <laughs> You're looking at the booty, though. She got the right booty, thick, thick thigh booty. <laughs> uh, they didn't show the backside, but I'm I'm pretty See, sure it's pretty good. That, if you got the thick thighs, going you, on back there. you want oh, a yeah. Lee and a cami is you want that thick ass. Yes. Like, the thighs, Chun-Li though. And cami, I never played them because I liked them as the characters on the game with that thick ass. Yes. Yes, thick ass Asian chick and a thick ass white girl. Dude, you gotta have those thick thighs that go into a thick booty. That's the whole right. point. Um, who remembers when thick white girls became a phenomenon? That was like ten years ago with the pop. Right. Porn. Yeah. There's like, now they got there was like Alexis Texas and like a bunch of those white girls that like yeah. just had that thick ass fucking junk booty, you know. And then they had the slim waist joint, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, and I see some of these girls on Instagram and shit doing that same thing and I'm like there's no way possible that that is real. But then I see videos. Nah, they got ass implants. Bro. No, but no, I see video How do they get the thigh implants then? Is that real too? Like their I'm waist is so fucking small. That, that look I'm just saying on certain bitches that look a little bit exaggerated. But yeah, you remember, and then now ass is everywhere. Yeah, I'm not complaining. It's in the water, bro. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, we're still complaining, but yeah, yeah. It's in the water, man. We, we, we drank the wrong, wrong wrong water growing up. Now it's just there, man. Is it was, I think I'm growing an ass now, dude. You're drinking too much milk, bro. That's because you're not you're you're Hispanic and not white. See, when you're white, no matter how old you get, you never grow an ass. It's just that not ass at all. See, and I'm I'm What's the it? older cobra, and I'm and I drank milk, and I grew up without going to jail and doing all these things and reading Dean Koontz books. I'm the cobra. <laughs> if he did drink milk and grow up, and now I got a big <laughs> ass booty. Now I got a big ass donkey <laughs> donk. That was you could see my ass when I was trying to get over that that uh that that ladder to get in that uh, above ground pool. This motherfucker got a above ground pool. Bro. I know. It's called Greg Capullo, okay? Yeah, it's Greg Capullo. <laughs> hey, hey, that's I got when my you're... fat ass in it and was floating around. See, that's when you know, like, because you can't you, swim, you made it. 
that's like when you know you've made it as a white family as far as you can possibly go is when you have an above ground pool. You know? When you make it beyond, you get an in ground pool. Yeah, because you can't yeah, climb yeah. up that fucking ladder no more. Yeah, no You're shit. like, I can just fall into some shit and be good. Dude, I struggle <laughs> climbing out because it's rickety as fuck. And I'm like, I'm. Yeah, careful. that motherfucker gets to shake it when you get to the yes, top. Yes, it bro. does. Well, no, that's your legs because it's really high up, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, getting into the water from that point is fine. Yes. Now, it's getting out of that bitch. Not to mention this pool is three years old. It's got one collapsed side that I used a farmer jack to jack it back he's up. He's got a jack. He's got a car jack on the motherfucker. No, it's it's called a farmer jack. I don't know why. It's racist. But uh, And then I put like some stone blocks because it wasn't high enough above, below it. And I planned on jacking it up to replace it because I got a replacement like pole. But he's doing a lot of it jacking. It ain't working, dude. dude. It's a <laughs> lot of jacking. It's like I was in San Diego. He's jacking dude. for days. Yo, I got for... in it. I got cool and refreshed, came out and enjoyed the day. Hey. I mean, it's not a deep pool, but man, were you on your tippy toes cover? Because you're not a very tall guy. No, I wasn't on my tippy toes, motherfucker. Dude, Did you I see over the rim? I wasn't going to yes, like have Cobra, like, you know, oh, I just discovered him <laughs> drowned, uh, Mr. Officer. Do I get all this uh, Star Wars figures that are on his wall? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he already promised Mikey the fucking concept series. <laughs> you get the concept series? But, hey, Fallen, I'll let you get all the hologram joints on the top. Yeah, all right. boy. I'm going to open all that <laughs> shit. Oh, I didn't, oh you're not Don't getting TikTok it. in your memory, dude. <laughs> I'm taking no shits to the grave. <laughs> Next up, because my, my my sons asked me, "Hey, Dad, when if you pass away, which wood am I getting?" I'm like, "You're gonna cremate me, and you're burying all my shit." <laughs> oh, you're doing Egyptian style, you know? Yeah, you know, my shit's coming with me to the next. Yeah, life. <laughs> I'll be doing the weekly. I'll be doing the eternally habit. <laughs> yeah, and then all the yeah in the ghost world, the ghost figgies are like, "Yo, Cobra, you gonna play with that shit?" And you're like, "No, these are worth money in the afterlife. <laughs> I got this shit. You know, I'm gonna sell it to some other ghost figgy." Yeah. At La Ghost Pulga. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking creepy yeah. out there, man. La Pulga Paranormal. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking TV show, dude. La Pulga yeah. Paranormal. Yeah. Paranormal. Yeah, it's a Paranormal. Dude, I'd watch the fuck out of that, dude. Hell I only, yeah. I only understand a little bit of Spanish. Vaya con Dios. <laughs> Put the B suit guy in there, Chavo. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Uh, yeah, next up, Bro Toys, which you can find them on 5K Toys. Bro. So, finally, up for pre order. And the only reason why I'm doing this news is because, like, it's something. Uh, so, they Bro. have, like, their knockoff Resident Evil cops. You know, they have, they're called Crisis yeah. Police Officers. Uh, you know, Raccoon City shit. Uh, you know, it's on 5K Toys, and they're finally, they already showed them off, but they're available for pre order. And these are dope. Like, the, uh, like, even if you're using them for, like, you know, military ass yeah. like kind of cops. You know, I know they. they they're got both a chicks. Liquor. I know they. I know they got a liquor and shit. They so do. Like, it looks dope. Five K is pretty much making Resident Evil the game. I mean, right. then they got a Claire figure coming. Not a Claire, but what's the name of the chick from the fucking movies? Uh, fuck, I don't know. I uh, the Mila, uh, not Mila. Jovanovic. Uh, the, 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 Jokovic. Yeah. Jehovahvovic. Yeah. Yeah. Jokovic. Jokic. Alice. 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 Yeah, uh, but no, these are these are from the game kind of, and I don't know if they're no name or they're like it's like uh, Claire or whatever the fuck their name is. But Claire Redfield. Yeah, there's Claire, Chris. Huh? But they don't name them that. They name them something else. Like yeah. this one, one is named Clay, and she has like the red jacket. So she's like from I think Resident Evil Three. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. And then Either? Neil, Either like a vest. It's like a vest jacket. It's right? like no, it's like a jacket jacket kind of. But okay, okay. I think it's Resident Evil 3. I could be wrong. But then there's uh, Neil, which that's a girl name. I don't know why. And she has the blue tank top, you know, with the boobies and shit. So that's clear. She doesn't have the beret, though. I don't see the beret. If that's it a Jill. Thing. It's not J Jill has the beret, right? Yeah. And I'm, I think they did. Yeah. Make a Jill, I'm trying to so. think of the one with the red dress. The, the, I know the red dress was Ada. And I believe I've seen an Ada figure already, like a Fison style body. Yeah, they've made a, a ton. I've seen a lot of those like There's on so eBay. many fucking Resident Evil figures. Right. God damn! Right. But these come with like hella cool weapons and shit. Like especially the 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 blue tank top girl. That that one looks pretty cool. You know, seventy nine ninety nine. That's where. Yeah, I just look at the boobs. That's it. That's it. 
Just the boobs. That's it. it what, what else matters, man, in a woman figure? I mean, posability. Well, it seems that you, you bought this uh, female action figure to look at the boobs. Well, um, <laughs> well, cunt matters. Well, n dude, really? Do you, you take your figures and make them naked and look at the cunt? The Tuesday? See you next Tuesday? <laughs> you just call them Tuesdays, man. We're, we're respectable here. That fucking Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, that was it for the news, man. Let's get to recent acquisitions. Five nigga discount, girl. You can give it to me. Walmart employee, target team member. Give me that shit. Give me your phone number. Call me later when it's in stock, yo. We got that Casey Raff two pack. Gonna sell it to you out the motherfucking bag. Cause you hood gas for life. Gonna be there. Gonna take it. Recent acquisitions, what we picked up this week. Yo, Cobra, you get that Wolverine yet? No. Nah, hell no. no. Motherfuckers ain't even donating no more. No, dude. What's going on with these motherfuckers? Dude, all we need is like a 20 more dollars. Like, just one dollar each. That's it. Like, get this motherfucker so he knows what he's talking about. I don't know. But I, I didn't pick up shit, man. I was splurging last week. I got that. I did a trade. I did a trade for those Batmans that I got last week, but stupid. Yeah, so stupid. Yeah, we know. Yeah, what'd you pick up, Mikey? I picked up the Chasm Spider-Man, the and then yeah, it's all right. I, I don't. I like wish it had Spider-Man wave. I don't like it. I wish it had more hands instead of just fist hands. It's like they, yeah, what, what the, they used to involve they like the wall stupid, crawler hands and all that shit. And now there's yeah, nothing they, and it's they, more expensive. They gave me stupid little fucking twirly cues for his fucking wrist fist. But like it's the older articulation as opposed to like the newer Spider Man articulation. And then I picked up Speedball. Speedball is fucking dope, dude. I love that. Dude, honestly, I yeah. shit on this figure and I shit on you for getting it. But when I was at the store and I actually seen it and I was looking at it, dude, it's a fucking dope looking like, figure. It's I get it. It's, it's a reused buck, you know, and uh, but the paint apps on it are great. The head sculpt is great. I know the hairs are used and all that shit, but whatever. Yeah. Like the bubble eyes and everything, like that shit looks fucking dope, dude. Yeah, and then I, uh, just the stores out here don't carry Red Room because the sales weren't too good. I had to order that shit from the actual from Fanagraphics, so mm. I finally get to read the new Red Room after the issue, first issue. Yeah, and so, my recent acquisitions, we already kind of heard about it in the beginning, but I did pick up a Eric Bischoff, Rhea Ripley, the Eddie Guerreros, and and Rey Mysterio's Ultimates. Uh, I also like picked up, you know, those like world's smallest figures or world's smallest. They have games and shit. The world's smallest yeah. shit that they put in the card area sometimes. Well, dude, they had Beavs and Butthead as a little action figures. So I bought those. Those are fucking cool, dude. It's just little Beavs and Butthead. And we still don't have any ultimate figures or, like, good figures of Beavs and Butthead, like, that are newer, you know? Yeah. The, we got the old ones. I forget who makes them, but you can't stand them up with a fucking damn. So Super 7 or someone needs to get on these Beavs and Butthead figures. Like, they got, like, you know, the reactions and shit. But those don't yeah. look like them. They don't look like them. They look fucked up. The, uh, I want old Beavis and Butthead if they make Beavis and Butthead figures. Yeah, dude. They need to make all the ones from the show. You know, the old Yeah, I, I need the senior citizen Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> or the 40-year-old ones, like, where they're yeah. you know, middle-aged. From or... the movie when they met him in the desert. Yeah, but they, they have episodes where they're that age, too. Yeah. Like on, uh, what is it on now? Paramount? Yeah, it's on Paramount. Paramount. Course, yeah. Dude, so they have season two of Beavis and Butthead, and it's funny as fuck. And they, they do have episodes where they're like middle-aged beavers and butthead. It's pretty cool. I think they need to replace Todd with the Todd, though. <laughs> I, I haven't. I don't remember seeing Todd in any of the new episodes, though. I haven't either. And what was the kid with the winger shirt? Uh, Stewart. Yeah, no Stewart either. Stewart's been in some of the episodes, like older Gabby? Stewart, I think. Yeah, Stewart's been no. in there. I'm pretty sure. Because I've never uh, seen the neighbor. Yeah, there's uh, Mr. Anderson, and he does and, like war stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we can't go into war right there with burnt out radiator cap. It <laughs> cause overheating. You just can't drive the car down in there in combat. Well, that was it. That's my war story. 
he's, <laughs> he's, 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 you know, he's an early Hank Hill, but we know that. Uh, let's get to the Lister segment coming up with the game. We come not with the gang. 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 Not with the gang. We come not with the gang. We come not with the gang. We come not with the gang. Is what they do worthwhile? Fuck no. Come on, man. There is. Come on, man. 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 Look. Come on, man. If you want to come up with a gang, it's easy to do. Use that hashtag PodcastAF on all your figure photography on Instagram or wherever the fuck you are. Also, go to HoodcastAF.com. Go up to the top. Hit that donate button to donate to get Cobra Dad a Mezco Wolverine because he's poor as fuck. We need to help him out a little bit. A dollar will do. Or go to HoodcastAF.com. Scroll down or just on the side, there's that voice message button. Hit that voice message button. We're going to play question a character whatever you want to do we're gonna play it also hit up our patreon man patreon.com forward slash hoodcast af and you can get a lot of bonus shows like after shows to every show that we do on hoodcast so says the fallen cobra stories and even tex af where we recently did an episode with uh dirty ron mcdonald of xpw yep. lore so get that episode it's also free on the youtube but still it's it's there. Go check it out, man. But without further ado, let's let's hear some of these calls that came in to hoodcastaf.com. We got uh, one from the Pot Dog. I don't think we've heard from him in a little bit. What's up, Pot Dog? What's up? It's the Pot Dog calling Hoodcast AF, and we're gonna start this thing fucking right. Ready? There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Both up. <laughs> It's a little V6 haze, a sativa. Gonna get your day started real good with a little dopamine. Are we doing too much dopamine? Do we need to go cold turkey and have a complete dopamine deficiency and a dopamine restart? Am I gonna be seeing punk shit saying, I'm straight edge, I'm drug free, alcohol free, and tobacco free? Well, not last night because I did like everything. Fuck, dude, I got so wasted. I smoked a cig and I got super high. Went to the arcade bar. Man, it was a blast. Uh, I played some skee ball for the first time in like 15 oh, years. Man. Met a couple new chicks and we had some fun. You know, it was just a good time. You got to get out there and be social. Go to those fun things, man. You know, I know yes, sometimes sir. you got a little voice in your head. It's like, oh, I'm lazy or I'm going to stay home. Don't listen to it. Be that social guy. In fact, I think I'm going to go to that barcade every Wednesday and watch Dynamite Live because why not, man? It'd be fun to. And who knows, I might meet a really laid. fucking hot wrestling chick. Like, oh my god. Yeah. So anyway, I called in last week talking about how we're blah, 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 selling shit. We're boxing it up, putting shit in bags. That's right. So I've done it with wrestlers. I've done it with Marvel Legends. I've done it with DC. And when I put these in baggies, I put them in a polypropylene bag. Uh-huh. You don't want to just put it in a Ziploc bag. No. Some of these standard bags, you know, regular bags you buy, little cheapy ones, have chemicals in them that'll cause your paint to fucking break down quicker. You know, you know, you don't want that. So do your research. Get polypropylene. This is not a conspiracy theory. This is real. And then when I put them in a cardboard box or a tote, I throw a little silicon gel pack in there. Save your silicon gel packs, motherfucker. Those things are handy, motherfucker. Prevent the moisture in your stored figgies. Ah! Pot dogs out, boys. It's time for Sunday Fun Day. Peace. Dude. Yeah. The only barcade we have out here is in the Castro district in San Francisco. So you know what happens in the Castro. Although that area yeah. now. Wait, 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 wait. San Francisco, the Castro. Do we yeah. know? I don't. Can you? I've been there. I've been there too. I was. I, I've been there too. Yeah. So, all you listeners, do you know about what? The Castro. Yeah, I'm sure they they've heard of the Castro. See on TV every year during June. That's where they. <laughs> that's where the gay parade started, man. Like that's where they do yeah. it, you know. And they block off the streets, and there's rainbow painted in the streets. Still is, you know, one of the crosswalks. But yeah, Barcade is kind of down the street from there, and it's pretty awesome. It's an everybody bar. There's no dudes uh, making out in that bar, but like the sister bar, the dude who owns that, like there's a bar that kind of looks like a plague doctor. I've been in there too with some other like straight fools and like dudes were in there making out making all 
you know, my other really straight friends really uncomfortable. I didn't give a fuck. I'm like, look, they're just, you know, doing their thing. Like, it doesn't matter. It's called Moby Dicks, right? They're just doing their thing. It's not called Moby Dicks. I think it's like Humdingers or something. I don't know. Or the Blue Oyster. (laughs) Why's it got to be blue? I don't know. But, you know, even with the uh, polypropylene bags, I use, like, Look, I still use like sandwich use bags here and there. Bags, bro. I use mylar bags for my selling because the mylar had the shininess, like you know, it lets you see something from far away, and then it's got a window for the fucking figure. You know, the mylar bags are dope, and you can get them on Amazon if you're a reseller. What What are those little bo- the little plastic boxes you use? So those are like. Um, boxes for people who make desserts and shit like that you can get like you know 50 of them for like 15 bucks and i get the like seven and a half eight inch boxes uh, you know and they're they're seven by maybe two and a half and you can fit a figure in there with a pose so it looks really good when you're trying to sell it you know because people because see the, the figure, figure in its best form it's actually it's that figures don't pan out he's gonna make fallen pizza cupcakes and he's gonna <laughs> put them in those containers yeah, I, I ain't a baker, man. Uh, unless it's like pizza, because that's kind of baking. Like I said, pizza <laughs> cupcakes. So you can make little <laughs> tiny cupcake-sized pizzas. I don't make cute shit, motherfucker. I make I make man shit like giant pizza. Pe- well, as big as I can fit the pizza in the pizza oven. That's it. That's what you get. I ain't out there smoking shit, you know, in the fucking hundred degree weather like you. Well, God damn it, that's what we do. I heard Texas partner. We got a uh, written review. This guy put it on the Hoodcast AF website, and it's from uh, Paul S. And it's entitled "Demasculation at Its Finest." And he writes this. Hold on, I got a burp coming up. Try <coughs> There it is. Uh, he writes this. My coworker listens to this cast all the time at work. It's pretty solid. But talk about demasculating when a guy is called a cuckold and a fundraiser to buy him a doll. Man, if you're a grown man and can't afford to buy a doll, that's not really a man. Seems more like a child. Mikey comes across like a douchebag at times. It's called empathy, Mikey. Yeah, Cobra is kind of a pathetic human being, but it's 2023. You got to give him his participation trophy and a hug. Be nice. It's not Cobra's fault he doesn't know how to be financially responsible. The only guy who seems to have his shit together is Fallen, because clearly he is a technical wizard who puts together a solid cast. But Mikey and Cobra, it's like two broke guys hanging out with a rich guy. But at least I I guess Mikey can afford to buy his own dolls, so I guess he is a little better than Cobra. Plus... <laughs> He seems to have a bunch of useless knowledge, so he has that going for him. Fuck that guy. But that's like a blue ribbon at the Special Olympics. At least, <laughs> at least I will get uh, to hear my name on the show since I wrote a review. Well, thanks, Paul S. Well, fuck you, dude. And I am a douchebag. I acknowledge that. Did you write this, dude? The punctuation is Did all over. You the write place. it? No, I didn't write Did it. You- but it's it's sucking your dick. No, it yeah, because you're trying to hide the fact that you wrote it. Because dude, the punctuation is just like your punctuation. So I look, I don't know. It could be any other Yeah, dude. I decided to disrespect myself. Right. Because, because that's that's asshole. the idea. You disrespect yourself a little bit, but then you come back and say, But Mikey knows a lot of knowledge. Da, da, da. That's useless knowledge, and I want a blue ribbon at the Special Olympics apparently, so fuck him. Wait. See, I like I wouldn't even remember all that stuff. I would be like, I remember because he wrote it. Usually, <laughs> people talking about how good I am, and this one called me a fucking retard, and I'm retarded. I know. Okay, Thanks. well, I'm actually, kind of butter. Maybe. <clears throat> either, way, I'm glad, I'm, either way, I'm glad him and his coworker listened to the show. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a little butthurt though. <laughs> Just a little. A little. Um, I'm a retard. I have another like written review, but maybe that was it. Um, I do have another call. It's from uh, Chaz, and he's from the uh, Knife Party Pod. So I guess we'll oh, hear from yeah. fucking Ghost Collector Chaz. The work. What? What? Oh, 
Fuck, that was loud. Is this on? It's on, dude. That okay. hurt, my, hurt my ears. This the chairs. Okay. I was told by Patreon, I should, by the Knopf Party podcast, I should call you. Nobody likes this. Talk about dude. ghosts. No, no one. Apparently, you didn't do a, I have an action figure out. It's a bunch of cotton in a, in a, in a, in a container and it says ghosts because it's like, boo. Not very collectible, dude. It's sprayed with my, how dare you, <laughs> son of a how bitch. How you know it's like talking shit about Daddy you? Cobra, you, you screwed my mother's panties. You smelled them and masturbated with them. And I'm upset right now. Okay. So I'm just going to stop there. I... Knife party. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Uh, the Chaz, which is. We all know who the Chaz is, right? Yeah, I can tell who the Chaz is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy. Knife party. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the uh, typical... Yeah, there is. Have you bats? Have you ever done butt stuff? I mean, it's very familiar. <laughs> like, look. Hey. We it's did... not a puppet show. Because, let's be honest, nobody probably listens to it. So it's <laughs> got to advertise. Like, even lesser people listen to his show than The Weekly Habit... Or as many people have watched us do fucking Tex AF Live. I think I looked at the one thing one time, there was like two motherfuckers. <laughs> I was one the of them. was one of them. Yeah. <laughs> I might have been the other one because I checked on my phone. So I might have been number two. Was, fuck, dude. Well, I think we did it for Hoodcast. Yes, sir. We fucking, yeah. uh, you know, we learned a lot here, you know. Yes, we did. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what we learned from this podcast, but it's it's something. So we learned that uh, if if it doesn't work, jokerize it. Yeah, I mean we've been learning that forever. Yeah, but I mean, by the booth. Sure. We we learned that uh, sometimes you Ron eat the bar, McDonald, and sometimes we learned they eat that you. Ron McDonald would push back on Brock Lesnar. Oh wait, that was Tex AF. Yeah. yeah. You know, only two people have watched it live. We don't say goodbye. We say, we say good, good journey. journey. Good journey. <laughs> Just that fucking one meme video. Yeah, that meme. It's Vitas, dude. Vitas is fucking awesome, though. It's a real thing, a real person. Yeah, Vitas is like, I think he's Russian, and he's like an operatic Russian? singer. They should mix this song with that Inko Jericho song. I tried to use this guy's tongue technique on my girl last night. Did it work? Well, she was like, ha, 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 See, that was me. I was pitching, and then, you know, you hit it. I knocked it. Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. Not out of the park, but, you know. No, at least a good solid uh, single, you know. Yeah, you I got, got man, on base with you got that. Got a man yeah. on base, so we got on yeah. Billboard, bro. Yeah, it got on Billboard. It charted. Yeah. There's an old attorney saying, live the journey, for every destiny is but a doorway to another. Good journey. Good journey.